My name is Brent Denston and I'm with the Dimension 3D Printing Group. Today we're meeting with David and Paul with the Art Center College of Design. And uh, tell me a little bit about uh, what you guys do and, uh, and, and uh, how you use the Dimension printer. Right, well primarily Art Center College is a design college, a design school. We have um, automotive design, product design, fine art, film and photography. Um, our job within that school is um, to act almost like a service bureau. We have different technologies, the dimension being one of the technologies in the school. And what we do is we enable the students to actually take their designs and produce physical models, finished models of those products or transportation, car parts or whatever. So that's, that's primarily the job of the 3D labs in the school. Great, great. Now, before you got the Dimension, you were probably doing uh, some of those things in more traditional methods. How has the Dimension uh, printer uh, either empowered the students or helped you to uh, improve the, the, the process compared to what you've done in the past? Right. Well, one of the big things about the additive technologies and the 3D printing, it kind of complements the, the school and the shops that we already have there. We have a very big traditional model shop, and what we've found is that the, the complexity of the models and the designs as, as they get more involved in the CAD, the 3D printers really come into to the picture there where it allows them to make more advanced, more industrial strength designs. But again, it's a combination of the shops, the printers, and, and all these technologies and really finding the, the best practice to make those models. So the, the 3D printing is a very big part of it now. And because the students are, are very file driven, you know, um, it's a generation of, of computer gamers who are now you know, getting into CAD programs and, and doing some really great things with the CAD, that it, it's a natural progression for those guys to create CAD files and use these technologies. Great, great. You know, it's uh, an exciting time, I think, to be a, a student and uh, to be going to school. I, th I think I went uh, probably 20 years too early. But tell me, how, how uh, do the students embrace this and, and what are their thoughts? Do they come to you and, and say, hey, we really want to get uh, uh, some 3D printing or solid models, or how does that work? I think, well, mostly it's, it depends on the application, but um, it, it, it's, like David said, it's mostly file driven. And when we want something that has really high tolerances, usually we uh, recommend that they go with the dimension machines because it's uh, plus or minus like five thousandths. So that, that depending on the particular model in question, that, that's the recommendation that we have for them, whether it be a cell phone or some of these other um, models where the parts have to actually integrate and fit together when they're mm -hmm. separate components, then that's why we recommend that they go with the FDM. It's because See, there's two pieces that actually join together, and uh, there isn't an affordable printing technology that they can typically go with outside of a uh, dimension machine. Excellent, excellent. You know, it wasn't uh, too many years ago that uh, to get into technology like this, uh, it, was, it was very uh, cost prohibitive. How do you see this moving into uh, schools, uh, maybe even downstream from where you're at as far as in the high schools and things of that nature with the price points that we're at today? Right, well, yeah, again, that's, that's a very good point. You go back, my history with rapid prototyping started, you know, with the SLA technology. And when we look back at the prices of those machines to what's out there right now with the new U-prints and the, the potential for other, um, you know, systems that are coming online that are very affordable. I mean, it, it makes the schools, it make it puts this technology in front of the people, the young people who are going to go into the future. And, and this technology, now the price points are coming down. This is going to be just a technology that's going to be a given in schools, I think. I, I agree with you. You know, um, I think it's fantastic what you're doing and, and, and what you're providing uh, for, the, uh, for the students that it, uh, attend the uh, Art Center. And uh, I appreciate you guys taking the time to talk with us today. And uh, it's an exciting time to be a student. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, guys. Great. Thank you, Brian.